Hi, I'm Sean O with Rest Equip Pro. Today we're going to make Sean O's Super Guac. I've been making this recipe for about 20 years. There's an awful lot of restaurants out there using this recipe. Nothing tremendously special about it except one time I was eating guacamole and I said to myself, you know, boy, it could use a little more flavor. So I decided that I would just put more stuff in it. So this is how it goes. We're going to make guacamole. We're going to use the Robocoop R2 dice. We're going to use the bowl attachment, regular bowl processing. We'll show you how this works. In the meantime, though, there's a little prep work here. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a couple of pro tips. We're going to start with onions. I call this healing and peeling. It's very simple. Take the heel off each side. Then whether it's whole or half, I like half. You can cut it in half and if you grab the skin on the side, you can start to peel it off. And then take the peels off the onion like that. A half at a time. Go. Sometimes you use a knife to help you there. Get a half an onion. Healing and peeling. We don't have a machine to do that yet. Someday maybe. Someday we might. Also the avocados. You have avocados. You've got to split them. You've got to get the stuff out of them here. Okay, there's one way to do that. You have a regular avocado. First point, very important. Let's get the, the little pip of the stem out of there. That could end up in the mix and the blade hits that and it won't blend. Right? Then we're going to cut it in half right down the center. Remember the pit in the middle is what keeps the blade from touching you. Turn that in half. You have two halves. We then take the knife right on the pit. Boom. There it goes. So we've got the avocados. We've got tomatoes. We've got onion. We've got jalapeno. We've got a little lemon. We've got some lime. We've got Shano's super secret spice for guacamole. And with that then we're going to put it all in the bowl of the R2 dice. We're going to whiz it up and we're going to make some really neat guacamole. So we've got the avocados. Bowl open. What are we going to do? Well let's see. We need some cilantro. Looks like a big handful of cilantro. I use almost all of it. We can throw the stems in there too. I love cilantro. You can't overdo it. For those who don't like it, trust me, in the blend you hardly taste it, but it is an essence that's really neat and we really like it. We're going to do a jalapeno. I do the same thing with them. They're whole. We want a little heat here, so we just need a couple of pieces. I'm leaving the stems and pulp inside. We're going to need a tomato. I've got that. We're going to throw the tomato in there. A couple cloves of garlic. Some people like more, some people like less. Two cloves, I like it. It's just about right. We're going to take the onions. You know, I like just slightly smaller pieces for the machine. This is a smaller machine. And the larger processors, you could do it all whole and it wouldn't care. It just all goes a little more even if the pieces are a little smaller. So use it that way. What else? Oh, we've got some tomatillos. I like that. Tomatillos are little green tomatoes. They're not really a tomato. Some people call them green tomatoes. Most of the people in the flyover states, I don't really see these things that often. But this is really neat at a really cool flavor. Lemon, I had a little. Traditional is lime. I'm going to put a couple of limes in. I like lemon and I squeeze the lemon into my hand like that so you can catch the seeds. And I do a couple of halves of lemon because the lemon goes in your guac and it keeps it really vibrant and green and fresh all day long and in the fridge. It'll look really good the next day if you want to keep it. Lemon, and I also just like a bright lemony flavor. It's personal preference. So I like lemon. Since I'm making it, eh, I'm doing it my way. So we've got a couple of limes. Do the juice of a lime. Once again, I catch the seeds in my hand right there. Let's do the other half of the lime. Now let's go with the avos. Now we've got a bunch of half avocados here. You could use a scooper, you could use a spoon. It's one old fashioned method we really kind of like. You just squeeze the meat out of the skin just like that and away you go. We're going to put all of these avocados in the bowl here. I don't want to overfill. I'm doing what I call a medium batch. In most bowl processors, you really you want to keep it to about half to three quarters full just to give it enough room to move around and everything. The guac works down and gets, gets so much less volume once you blend it that I do try and fill the bowl up and then let it come down and it will. So I use eight avocados in this recipe, a tomato, one onion, some tomatillos, garlic, juice of a lemon, juice of a lime, the cilantro, and then at the end I'm going to put in Shano's super secret spice for guac.
All right, I've got my avocados in. I'm full, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna grab my super, super secret Shano spice. Pretty simple, but there's a little extra wham in there, and that's kind of why everybody likes it. So I've got some lemon pepper, salt, regular pepper, and a little bit of Mrs. Dash. Just my personal thing. It's really neat, works pretty well. We're gonna take the lid, put it on the R2 dice, and then we're gonna blend. So I've got all the ingredients in the bowl. We're gonna start pulsing it so we can start bringing it down. I'm gonna hit it about eight or 10 times because we wanna get those big chunks down, get it start to roll and get it start moving here. So I'll hit it a few times. It's looking good. Big pieces get smaller. Then we're just gonna let it go. And away it goes. So we'll let it run about 30 to 60 seconds until it looks real good, it's starting to look real smooth. We can make it really smooth. The longer you run, the smoother it gets. That's what a food processor does. So we're gonna let it go till I think it's right. We're almost getting there. You know, it's looking pretty good. You know, and there's a reason you saw me put that together and the reason we put all that stuff in there, and I'll tell you why. Who wants to eat boring guacamole? I mean, really, have you ever eaten a raw avocado? It's pretty tasteless. When I was a little kid, I just never understood. It just didn't taste like anything. So when I made my guacamole, I figured, let's pump it up. Let's put in some flavor. Let's make it a little more than everybody else. So this is what we've got. Go ahead and take a look. You can see in there, it's real smooth. You can see all the spices and good stuff distributed throughout. So we've got flavor. We've got a lot of stuff going on there. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to take a taste. Let's do the first dip. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that is just delish. And you know why? Because I'm Sean O, the Rest Equip Pro.